What is going on guys? This is Wolfthorn Gaming and thank you again for joining me on another video. Today I am going to be covering the Shiva semi-automatic assault rifle, giving you my best class as far as attachments, the perks, and the stats, everything you need to do well with this weapon. I also recently unlocked diamond camos for the assault rifles, so that's one step closer to the dark matter. Uh, next will probably be the light machine guns as I really like the, those weapons and I want to cover that but all intros aside let's get into it so starting off with a brief review of the Shiva now we have the highest damage out of all the assault rifles and to counter that it has the slowest fire rate as well now the reason for this is that if it shot any faster than it did it would be completely broken and overpowered if you guys remember the FAL from Black Ops 2 that thing shot super fast and you know with the select fire it was an awesome weapon it was a beast and the shiva is the single shot gun of this assault rifle of this game so what can you say about it other than that well the accuracy is great um you know surprisingly enough if you ever want to run it stealth it works great with the suppressor too in my testing that i found but the main staple of this gun is something that you have not been able to use in the past and that is the rapid fire on assault rifles and that is a great addition to the game uh i found that fully auto weapons don't really benefit much from this attachment but as far as burst weapons go and like these like semi-autos it definitely improves them and it's almost a necessity for this gun because it doesn't really make it that inaccurate while you're shooting and you know being that this weapon has the most accuracy of all the assault rifles rather and it's extremely it's almost like a sniper especially in hardcore i mean this thing just melts people in one bullet that's it no problem so yeah anyway getting to those attachments now here there's my best class setup on screen i decided to go with just a basic reflex sight the quick draw the grip the rapid fire and a secondary i chose the Elkar pistol because it's fully auto and it's a nice thing to have in close range engagements so now why these attachments why this class guys well first of all the quick draw grip is awesome for this gun. I mean, you know, you want to be a with a gun that can shoot people and kill them in two bullets. You know, you'll definitely want to be able to aim down sights much faster. And it's, it, especially where you can't, like, have that twitch shooting where, you know, you just come out of a sprint. Let's say somebody's coming in your face and you can't hip fire that well, especially because, you know, while it does have good accuracy, uh, hip fire spread is not that great. It's all, like I said before, it's kind of like a sniper. You won't be able to. Um, get those bullets off on target um, when you're shooting from the hip now that being said I had did get lucky and I did manage to do that a couple times um, but don't rely on it so definitely get the quick draw grip so you can aim down sights a lot faster moving on now we'll go to the grip now for the headshot challenges that you have to do in the beginning to get uh, towards the gold camo the grip will definitely help you stay on target and you know while it does have the best accuracy as i mentioned before and multiple times you know it w in combination with the reflex sight which i feel like is another necessity because the iron sights on this weapon while they are pretty good they're not great and um, i find it hard to um, stay on target with them that being said you don't have to use the reflex sight if you are more comfortable with let's say the recon the barracks or the ELO, whatever, you can choose that part. Uh, I just suggest going with the grip and some sort of optic for this gun. So moving on is the most, uh, probably the most necessary thing on this class, and that is the rapid fire. So for this gun, it has the slowest fire rate, like I said, and the rapid fire definitely does benefit this weapon. Uh, I was looking through some of the more recent patch notes, you know, all a few weapons got some tuning and all that stuff like that, and the rapid fire was actually on that list, and I will provide the link in the description for you guys to go check that out as well if you haven't heard already, if you didn't get a chance to do your own testing. But yes, like I said before, the rapid fire is awesome for this gun. Definitely, definitely rock that, and it will help you out immensely uh, when you're trying to work with this weapon. So let's move on to the good part, and that is the perks. Now for perk one, you have the blue. I suggest ghost. Now I run this in like almost all my classes. Um, if you're like me, or if you're like many players in the game, you like to know where everybody's at, and you would like to stay off the radar. 
you know, because everybody's calling in UAVs constantly. They have this, uh, it's the cheapest score streak to earn, so you're going to see them a lot. And especially for me, I tend to play hardcore a little bit more. You see it a lot there as well. And if you're playing with a uh, remote controlled streak, let's say like the Talon, RC car, or Mothership, whatever, uh, it will keep you off the radar. So definitely Rock Ghost if you don't like shooting down a million UAVs in a match and you just prefer running and gunning. Uh, and staying invisible off the radar so moving on to perk number two that is fast hands uh, since you are running a reflex site or actually my class gives you a point extra that you can after your after the perks and everything are said and done so if you want to take like a tactical or lethal or something else in place of the secondary that's fine well you'll be able to swap weapons faster with uh, fast hands and most importantly when you're coming out of a sprint your aim down sights time is reduced so for a gun like this if you prefer running and gunning if you don't like to camp as i don't then you would definitely like this perk because you can run a gun and not have to worry about it. The hip fire just won't cut it sometimes with this weapon. No worries. You, you're coming out of a sprint. Someone comes in your face. Shoot him twice. Boom. You got the kill. So moving on to the final perk. That's number three. We have Blast Suppressor. Now Blast Suppressor is great also if you want to maintain stealth. You know, you're going to boost around the map and gung-ho. While it does work without any glitchy animation or anything like that in this game... It, it doesn't really benefit you much with the Shiva. Uh, other than that, maybe I'll suggest Engineer. But this is the class I settled on, and I felt like it helped me out a lot. So that about wraps it up for me tonight, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this video. Uh, finals week is over. I am going to be free, so now I have plenty of time to cover the game and many other stuff, many other things, rather, in the coming weeks. So... If you have noticed, my character has just the golden head, and I'm working on the body for him, and I'm pretty sure he's the last one. I have everybody maxed out, and my next series of videos should be a specialist showcase. So thank you again for joining me on this class setup, and you know, stay tuned for much, much more. If you have some time, click the couple links that you see on the screen here to see my other class setup and some other games that I'd play, you know, like Mario RPG Armageddon, which is a ROM hack of the original, and also I provide an annotation so you subscribe. Take care, have a great night, and peace.